Hey folks, slightly different video this time. This is not going to be specifically about one of the games that I'm working on. But I am going to make a recommendation here. I'm going to gently suggest that if you do game development or software development, and like many of us, you have been using GitHub, you might want to consider migrating to an alternative called Codeberg. You're also going to get to watch me soldier through that migration so you can learn to do it yourself if you're interested. I'm going to put a chapter break in the YouTube video. So if you just want to skip my whole intro spiel and go right to the migration demo, knock yourself out. No hard feelings. But if you want to stick around, I will try to explain what the heck is going on here and hopefully convince you that this is a cool idea. Oh, hi, uh, I'm Eric. <laughs> this is Radical Slice, and it's where I talk about my game development efforts. But today, we're going to do something a little more meta. Here we go. If you don't usually work on software, let me tell you about GitHub. GitHub is a place to both store your code while also serving sort of like a portfolio and also a collaboration platform for programming. It does a lot of different things and it, it does them pretty well, I would say. It's also used by the vast majority of companies and independent developers. GitHub is really just a web interface. It's wrapping some other tool and the tool that it's wrapping is known as Git, G-I-T. Git's a version control tool that is not exclusive to GitHub. In fact, people can choose a number of alternatives to GitHub. GitLab is a popular choice. But why even choose an alternative? GitHub works. It does the thing we need it to do. I would say there are a number of reasons why you might want to move away from GitHub. Maybe you just don't like their interface. Maybe you don't like their idioms. That's like a real thing. GitHub has also been owned by Microsoft since 2018, and maybe that feels a little too greasy for you, and you'd like a cleaner, less corporate portal for your punk rock code. Recently, I was turned on to a platform called Codeberg. I love saying that name, gosh darn. Uh, Codeberg is operated by a nonprofit, and it's hosted in the EU. That all sounded pretty good, and as somebody who grew up in the 80s and 90s, I mean, I never don't enjoy giving a smirking middle finger to Microsoft, so I thought it would be cool to try migrating one of my repositories to Codeberg and just see how I liked it. I chose to move the code for my Pico 8 game tour. I'm not actively working on that game at the moment, so it seemed like a pretty easy candidate to move. Okay, how do we do this here migration? So Codeberg gives you a web-based tool to carry it out. I've already signed up for a Codeberg account. I got myself all logged in. So if you haven't done that yet, go ahead and, and do it. I'll be here when you're done. Okay, so you're all logged in, hopefully. Welcome to Codeberg. Happy to have you here. In the upper right corner, you've got that plus sign. Click that and choose new migration. Seems pretty obvious, right? Assuming you're coming from GitHub, click on our, our pal, our old pal, our former pal ex-best friend, the Octocat, just click on that. You'll need a couple of things from GitHub. One is the URL for your repository that you want to migrate. The other is a personal access token for your GitHub account. The URL is pretty easy to get, but the token part can be a little harrowing if you've never done it before. So let's zip over to GitHub and we're going to make that token. I'll show you how to do that. You can name this thing whatever you want. Put something pithy in the description too, if you feel like it. Nobody's going to see this except for you. As far as permissions, it pays to give these tokens the minimum amount of access that they need to do the job that they're going to do. So I'm only going to allow it to access the repository that I want to migrate. I recommend you do the same. This way, in case the token leaks, uh, the damage that it could possibly do is limited to that repository. Next, we need to give the token some specific permissions uh, for the migration. Really, all we're doing is making a copy of our repository. So we can give it the contents permission, and then we're going to keep it set to read only. After that, we'll click generate token, and you'll be able to copy and paste that token from GitHub into the access token field back on Codeberg. 
repository URL. After saying how easy this was going to be to get, I pasted in the wrong URL here. I actually pasted in the URL from the SSH clone command, which is not going to work. And I'm going to have to fix that in a second. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm going to fix that right now. So I've now pasted in the HTTPS URL. Save yourself the trouble and just do that from the start. Now click on migrate repository and I'm not going to edit this video or cut anything out here. Look how fast this finishes. There you go. We barely even got to enjoy that sweet animation. So there we have it. The repository lives on Codeberg now. So are we done here? I mean, kind of, yes. Technically, you don't have to do anything else. You could probably just reclone your repository and work with that. But I'm going to do a little bit of housekeeping. I'm going to recommend you do the same thing. The original repository still lives on GitHub. And frankly, I don't want to delete it entirely because I've linked to this repository in various places, including YouTube descriptions. I'm not going to update those right away because I'm lazy. But if somebody wants to look at the code, I do want those links to work, right? Like I don't want them to just get a 404. Uh, so what we can do is we can archive our repository on GitHub. That gives it some visual indicator to those who navigate there that the repository is effectively inactive. It serves as a signal that they should find newer versions of the code somewhere else. That would be on Codeberg. So let's do that. First, I'm gonna add a little warning message to my readme file here that's gonna tell people they should navigate to Codeberg. Incidentally, this is the first time I've used the little warning callout syntax on GitHub that they include in their markdown. So that's pretty cool. Thanks, GitHub. That's nice. Also, get hecked. I'm still moving to Coburg. We'll commit our readme changes and we're going to pop into the settings. I'm just going to change the repo name while I'm here because I decided I didn't really want the Pico 8 prefix on the repository name anymore. OK, back to settings. We're going to scroll down into the danger zone and find the archive this repository option. Again, nice little GitHub feature here. They make you type the repo name so that you don't accidentally punch yourself in the mouth by archiving the wrong repository. Thank you again, GitHub. Also, go kick rocks, you're jerks. Uh, and we're done. Uh, you can see now that there are several little visual indicators that the repository will not be receiving any additional updates. Anybody who comes here should be pretty clear that like, hey, maybe Either this repo is completely inactive or it's gone somewhere else. Where could that be? So now the code will just exist on Codeberg and we can just use Codeberg instead of GitHub, at least for this project. I haven't migrated the others yet. Anyway, I hope that was helpful and convincing, I guess. In this era of the internet that we're in, it's really easy to get into a rut and continue to use these very entrenched players in whatever space you're in when there are like perfectly good alternatives out there that maybe have better intentions vis-a-vis -vis your creative work. I'm not going to get into that here, but yeah, do with that what you will. I'm curious to know what you all think. And if you have yet or have considered moving away from GitHub, uh, let me know in the comments and shoot me a like if this helped you out. And the next video, we'll be back to our regular, you know, more gamey stuff. But I wanted to put this one out there just because it had been on my mind. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time and attention. This has been Radical Slice. I have been Eric, and I will catch you again soon.